Hey everyone, this is Ova and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Last time we landed on Val, as you can see, and we did some science. Well, we looked at the rock, but whatever. Anyway, I think it's time to return. I uh, just waited for the satellite to be overhead, and I think I got it about lined up, so... Let's go. And drop that stage. Uh... Yeah, I hope it doesn't destroy the flag. I think we're fine. Alright, let's see. Yeah, that's quite an arc already. Let's get up some speed. Oh, explosion. <laughs> Right, uh, I should transfer that fuel in there. It didn't uh, fit in there before lift off, so I kept it in the side tanks. I'm not getting up more speed. Well, it should be clear to get over those mountains, I hope. Yeah, in fact, I think I can pitch down a little. Though probably not too much. Hmm. We're still going up, though it looks like they're getting higher as we close in on them. Uh, nah, no, that's fine. Maybe not well clear, but clear. Let's see, can we... Oh, the, yeah, there's more rocks. Awesome. <laughs> hmm. Oops. Uh. Interesting shape on that mountain. Yeah. That's quite steep. Ah. Uh. There's an intersect. Yeah, I guess I got the launch time about right. Um, that's a bit ahead of me, okay. No, that's fine. I can just catch up to it. Alright, coming up to my circularization and rendezvous burn, I transferred all the fuel into the cylinder tank and the one uh, the one with the landing struts on it. I'm going to be ditching those tanks that have the extra engines on them because, well, once in orbit I don't really need all that much thrust and they're just weighing me down and their ISP is crap as well so I don't need them. There we go. Just burn forward a bit, I don't want to crash into them. All too familiar with that. <laughs> well, anyway, let's see. Uh, still got a bit of time. Right. And now. More stereo. <laughs> right. Right. 
right, I gotta get rid of the maneuver so you can see. Uh, um, I can just keep burning. Little might get me close me. And that just seems good. Yeah. I can get even closer. Ah, okay, that's the limit. Okay. Right. Okay, on my way to redock. <laughs> Final approach for docking. I think I'm coming pretty good here, but okay, maybe not. <laughs> That's good to decide. Well, anyway, I couldn't help but notice how much longer docking actually takes than it feels like. <laughs> the whole part from you know getting into orbit and having an encounter to closing in and well, doing this took me about 10 minutes. Didn't really feel like it though. Well, anyway, I'm reducted. Okay, SCS is making me wobble. Right, uh, let's just refuel this and then I'm ready to leave. Well, maybe I am. I'm gonna check the face angle first, actually. Okay, I think I messed around with the Benuma nodes enough now to have found the optimal point to eject from Val. And go. Of course I am going to be dropping the front tank, which would mean I have to cut the throttle for a bit so I can ditch it, because it's in kind of an awkward spot, but I think after I've dropped that you know, useless mass. Should be able to accelerate quicker as well, so I think the time's gonna work out. Where the hell is my voice going? <coughs> I was weird. Hmm. ditch this um just yeah just flip up i guess and then unduck turn back come on and keep going
let's see how that's doing. Yeah, expand quite nicely. And she just keeps him. There we go. All right. that and hmm Let's see well as I recall the last time I left the moon of jewel I just uh, got to the right position in the jewel orbit and burned home but this time I'm gonna try something differently I'm gonna try something Scott Manley suggested the forum suggested and well Hermann Obert probably suggested because <laughs> it's named after him. I'm going to lower the periapsis down. Then, at the point where I have the most speed, I'm going to eject from Joe and see if that saves me any fuel. Either way, I got fuel spare. I should probably drop that monopropellant too as a whole ISP, and I'm not going to be docking anymore, so might as well. Okay, that's as close as I dare go. I don't want to smash into the atmosphere. Okay, low fuel. Yeah, okay, now I can refuel this one. And... Uh, yeah, and that way I can ditch those later. Well, damn it. <laughs> well, yeah, I messed this one up, as you can see. That's a weird orbit. Uh, yeah, uh, I wasn't thinking about when I'm actually burning to bring my periapsis down, so now I did it at the wrong position. And this periapsis is actually going to kick me up in a higher um, solar orbit and, well, so much for efficiency, eh? Oh uh, well. Well, I can still get an encounter after messing around with the maneuver nodes a little bit. And I have the ascending node right where the planet is, so I don't have to do a correction, so... That should work out still, though it's kind of annoying that I messed it up, but oh well. Coming down on Jewel, it's time to start the burn. Our slightly weird burn, but burn nonetheless. Alright, I'm gonna have a look how much fuel I have still. Yeah, I'm gonna be dropping the other tanks during this burn. So I'm gonna pay attention. I should have really put fuel lines there, but again, I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, actually, I could have sworn I did, but I don't think they would have broken off. Well, I guess I just forgot. But anyway, it's not that bad. I can just transfer them. In fact, I can transfer a little bit of it right now. Uh, yeah, let's empty these. Right, keep going. Hmm. 
And there's still 90? Yeah, 90 liquid fuel in the bottom ones. So I'll just watch until I have room for 90 and then I transfer it into the map and drop the other tanks. Here we go. Just put this in here. Nice and quick. And let's stage. Wait, what? Huh, okay. Staging bug. There they go. Alright, well, I'm just gonna complete this burn and then hopefully. I'll see you back at Kerbin. And here we are, Bill and Bob. You're coming back to a familiar place. Yeah, I still had a bunch of fuel left at this point, so I was going to stick with my 30 kilometer approach and just decide to kill the rest of my velocity with my engines. And I figured that's probably going to be more comfortable for them, G-force wise and stuff, and just a little bit more realistic as well. Yeah, after that, I just uh, tried to find a nice landing spot to splash down. I'm now coming in just off the east coast of Kerbal Space Center. Drogue shoots deployed and they made a weird sound, but nothing broke. Now, yeah, coming down at a nice speed. Congratulations to Bob and Bill Kerman for being the first Kerbals to reach the Jewel Moon Val and return home. Also thanks, in the name of the scientific community of Kerbin, for returning rock samples, because that's why we do it, for science. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching, and I see you all later.